Hi friends, Joanna here. I um, hope everyone's having a great new year so far. Um, I'd love to hear about any resolutions, especially any crafty resolutions. Um, I told you in my last video that we, I personally have used every single bit of scraps that we had and my our, my goal was to get it done by the end of the year. I did it. The only scraps I have left are little scraps that I use for leader and end pieces and any pieces that um, we use for stuffing um, pet beds and which I had just recently made. So that was mine. That was for the end of the year. So the beginning of the year I want to stay scrap free, stay on top of it and that kind of stuff. So, but let me know if you guys have any resolutions. I'd love, love to hear anything that you guys want to share. Um, so let's get started today. Enough of that. Anyway, so today I am, this is actually going to be part three. I hate to do any part ones, part twos, part threes, but um, so for part one, we started with our, um, you know, our panel. We did our scraps. Part two, we cut them. And so for part three here, we are going to, this is actually the fun part. Um, I've been plugging away um, for the past week, working on these here. What did I do with my board? Okay, so here, this is the board that I have of all the ones that we did in part one and part two. I had just cut them into strips. These were the um, strips that I'm working on now. So I will show you, <clears throat> excuse me, this is one of the ones that I had cut. Let me show you, take this out of the board. So this is one that I just cut out of the board. I didn't do anything with it. I didn't, you know, snip it, no embellishments. We just cut it right out of the panel that we made, right? So this is just plain, okay? Okay, so this, this is one that is actually completed, uh, ready for sale. I think this is ready for sale. And I will show you, um, let's see, some differences. Here, this is another one that is for sale, but I just want to show you the completed ones that we have done. So these aren't overly embellished. We didn't, I, I mean, you could really go crazy with these, but we're assuming they're going in journals. So we kept it kind of tame. So again, this is completed. We have our yo-yo flowers, some rhinestones and laces, and these have been machine stitched as well as hand stitched. And then I just put lace on the back because the back could get kind of, you know, busy. So. These are the, those are the completed ones, right? They're all different. They're very much, um, they're cut from, you know, panels and then you just decorate them. So again, these are great. This is such a, um, a nice um, time to sit and relax. And um, this is um, relaxing and creating. We just you know, sitting and we're just taking time for ourselves, whether you're sitting on the couch at night, you're relaxing and watching TV. So this is what I've, I, this was one, these two were, um, you know, just one long panel. They were a 60 inch panel. I had sewn the panels together and then I made them. These are approximately 30 inches now. So that's this one here. And I love the colors. Um, there is not a specific theme. Oh, my flowers come off. 
you know, so the reason that I make these in different color palettes and different, um, you know, like we have the vintage ladies, we have florals and birds, because um, if you're using these for a journal and say you want to, you know, use a journal and you just want to, you know, cut a little piece off. This is the pinks and the greens. You can come over here and use, if you want to use if you know, another time you want to use reds. Right? You could mix, you know, and then we have the greens and the browns over here. So you're cutting each piece and, you know, that's a kind of nice thing to have, to have different you know, variations, different places you can cut, Diff the different colors are really nice. You know, um, some people, like I have some that I've made that are plain, you know, they're just your neutrals. But so today what I want to do is I want to walk through doing some embellishments with you. I've been plugging away and I do have some more uh, stuff that I want to add here. So for my little paper hat here that I had cut out on my Cricut, I want to go ahead and add some flowers to her hat. All right, so you can add pretty much anything. You can, you know, we have the buttons. I have some, I added a um, vintage earring here. This is part of a vintage earring. This little heart. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have the other piece, so I just thought that that would match real nice with that. I've added, like I said, some paper items. <clears throat> excuse me. This here, this little heart, is a little vintage earring that I didn't have the other one. It was a part of a, a lot I had gotten it in state sale, and I thought, how pretty to add. It's an earring just to, you know, a little back. It has a little backing I trimmed off. The longer part but this will not fall off because this this is very tight um, so for today I wanted to um, go through and add some embellishments with you so I have uh, my needles pre-threaded which is when you are um, doing any type of uh, slow stitching pre-threading your needles is key right so, um, I don't want to get off target, but here, so pre going through, when you're sitting down, going through your roll, you're going to go through your roll and you're going to say pre-thread your needles based on, you know, the colors that you have in what you're working on, right? So say you want to, you're only going to be working on a certain area. So grab your pre-thread your needles and, you know, that's what I'm going to work on. So I have the green, the cream color, and some of my um, dark um, pinks, right? So the best tip I have for working on these before we get started is organization. I know I'm getting a little off track, but I just want to share with you guys. So I have this art bin that I had gotten at Michael's. I think it was like eight dollars and in here I keep um, my needle book I can't open it because it's a very rough it was just total scraps but I keep like extra you know threads and I keep um, uh, pre-threaded needles in here all anything that has to do my floss anything um, I keep extra floss in here and I have them just on a ring binder right and I keep some pearls and buttons right I go through my color palettes and I check to see what laces I need this is this whole thing fell on the floor before I started the video so it's a little bit of a mess so I just kind of rubber band them and I know the colors that I need of any laces any uh, rickrack right and in a little bag, I keep um, some of my flowers, 
So I keep my flowers and um, all kinds of flowers. You know, little, um, these little tiny flowers. I have paper flowers, um, all kinds. So this is what I keep in my little trusty bin here. Okay. Um, I use this cream floss a lot, so I bought it in an ecru color. It is just um, just a large version. I, I don't know how many yards this is, but I keep some red lace because I use that a lot. Um, some extra little um, pieces of lace and stuff. I keep little flowers in here. Um, buttons. In here I keep... <clears throat> Any type of jewelry, rhinestones, um, any type of um, vintage earrings or anything that I want to add. And here is um, any pins, um, my um, my extra needles, and um, my seam ripper, my needle threaders. And here I like to keep. Um, I like to every once in a while use one of. Um, embroidery hoops and I stamp on them and then I'll just you know uh, slow stitch this and then I can add it to my roll if I want to that's always kind of fun so being organized is key to being able to sit and relax because um, having everything that you need in one place is is absolutely key for you know being organized and being able to relax because there's nothing worse than saying you know I don't have this and I don't have that now you're all ready <clears throat> so let's see all right so I was adding I'm sorry to get off track guys but I just wanted to share that with you because I know for myself if I'm not organized then I cannot sit and relax and you know it just makes your life so much easier all right, so I have my all right, so I have my needles pre-threaded, and like I said, I wanted to add this is a paper hat, so I just wanted to add these flowers. So the backs don't really look that pretty. You know, you can kind of see your progress based on you know what the back looks like here, right? And eventually we're going to add um, lace to it. So let's see. All right. So sorry about that. I just wanted to share that with you because um, I thought that was kind of important. Okay. So I'm going to, I've got to pre-knot my, my floss here. And I'm not using all six strands of the floss. I'm using only three, so I'll do my little French knot. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. All right, so this paper is kind of thick because there's three layers of the paper. And this happens to me all the time. Okay, so I have my cute little hat here. And I'm just going to do a basic stitch here. And when you're working on these, there is there is no there is no wrong. You're 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 just you're just creating. You're just making your own, right? So um, you just go with what you have. You know, you're just you're just sitting and relaxing and creating. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see here. I'm just going to go through the flowers. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got a sharp needle here too because I wanted to make sure that it goes through. There's like three layers of paper here. All right. Yeah, so you don't want to worry about the back. You just, you just, um, you know, do what you're going to do. And let's see here. So I'm just kind of basically going through a little bit of the leaves here. 
and then I'm going to go through the center. And if you want, eventually you could run it through the your sewing machine and go through because some of the pieces I will um, go through the sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch around the edge to kind of just give it, you know, and plus I'm going to be adding the lace. So as I'm doing my final stitch around the, the edge, I'll be adding my lace to the back of it at the same time. So if you guys are making these um, just, you know, as um, keepsakes or, you know, um, you have some heirloom laces or buttons or any type of, um, you know, embellishment and you're making these for, you know, maybe put on a spool, if you have an old spool, then um, that's really fine. You can go crazy with, you know, adding whatever you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, because like I said, we are assuming that, you know, you are putting these, I'm going to put go through the back here. We're assuming that, you know, folks are putting these in their journals when we are selling these. So, okay, so now I'm just going to go through the back and come through right here. And in the little, leave a little loop. And then I'm going to go through the loop once. And then I'm going to go through the loop again and just pull just like that and then I'm just gonna trim it off yeah so the back sometimes looks you know that's normal so you know you can't worry about what the back looks like because it's very busy you know there's a lot of stuff going on okay so I showed you the little um, vintage earring that I've added here this little heart right and then there yeah, my little flowers on my hat are really that is lots of fun right okay so for this one I wanted to add some jewelry where was I gonna add it here um, all right I was gonna add it on to right here so now I wanted to add a little this, I found this, this is another vintage earring that I couldn't find the other piece to. I was just checking to see my uh, computer went out. So, um, uh, I just want to make sure you guys are still in focus. So I wanted to, um, let's see here, add that there. So adding jewelry is a lot different, right? So I want to add this to this little rickrack here so it would have something to hold on to. So let's see here. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to take, I have this little awl here. This is like a, I think I had gotten this. This is from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack. They have a couple of different tools in it. So what we want to do is just poke a little hole into the rickrack, right? And then this always gives me a hard time. Once you poke the hole, it's hard to find it again. All right. So adding jewelry accents are so much fun. All right. Now I can't find it, right? After all that. And um, there's so much that you guys could add to this. Um, you know, of course, the buttons, right? And um, 
Let's see here. You can add the yo-yo flowers, you can add paper. I actually, I will show you in a second if I can ever get this in. Um, I added some stamping. Oh my God, guys, sorry. All right, so once I am done closing this, I am going to have to stitch that down again, but that is okay because we're going to stitch around the ends anyway. So we will close this up. Let's see here. All right, so we have added our little heart, right? So let's see. I'll have to give a little stitch to that, but I'm not, actually I'm not going to worry about this right now. So we've added our little heart. Um, we put some flowers on our hat, and I wanted to add. I have this pretty red rickrack. So now let's see. Is that too much red there? Now this is all the fun part. This is the relax and create. So finding what you want to do. So here's where I had stamps. I just wanted to show you. I had this um, fabric vintage lady and I just stamped 1943 on it. And then I did a little um, script stamping right along the side here, just along the edge. And then I had a little um, paper word that says style. And I actually slowed stitched the ends of them and put it on there just to give it a little pizzazz, right? That looks so much nicer. And I did the same thing here. And then I put a little um, paper. This one says vintage fashion. 1950 and I did a little script along the ends here and just along the corner on the bottom here um, and then I stamped over here the word garden so you can stamp so sometimes what I'll do is I will stamp I'm not a I'm good freehand um, you know flower embroiderer so sometimes what I'll do is I will just stamp if I want to make a flower I will just stamp on it and then, you know, embroider around it. So kind of like a cheaty way to do that. Okay. So let's see here. Um, actually, you know what? I can maybe add some, let's see here. All right, so I have this. Always make sure that you are you have a knot at the end before you start stitching. And I have these pearls here. I added some pearls here. Maybe I could add some pearls along here for this lady. So when you think about adding it right along here, right? We can stitch some pearls on. Again, this is the relaxing part. This is part three is the best part. This is where your creation becomes your creation. This, this is whether you're making them for yourself, for a friend. Oh, that didn't even go through. So like I said, we are making these to sell. So we are keeping in mind lots of things. All right, so I'm just stitching in between the pearls, if you can see here. So I'm just gonna go in between each one of these and then that's how we are going to keep them. You don't have to go through each one, you know? Um, you can always um, use a, a fabric fusion if you want to go that way. You don't have to hand stitch everything. 
So let's do a couple of down here. We'll just go down a few here. And then we'll just stitch down our little bead strand. Give it a nice pull. And then, um, yeah, we'll go down a little bit so you guys can, oh, the back got stuck. So buttons, any um, pearls, beads, jewelry, um, paper, accents. Um, yeah, I, add, I, I love to add a little vintage jewelry, some true vintage jewelry to my pieces. I think that um, that's a nice little flair to the rolls, so. We'll do this one little piece down here. We'll give a nice little tug, right? And then we'll go around here. Again, we'll just go underneath here. And then we can weave a loop that's left. And with the loop, you stick your needle underneath once and then twice. And give a nice pull and then trim. And then you can add, you've added your, whoops. We have now added our little pearls like we did here with this one. We've added our little earring here and some flowers here. So this is um, relax and create. This is so much fun. This is so nice and relaxing. And um, this is very, the fact that the whole um, fact that this is whatever, whatever goes is so nice because you can um, just make whatever you want um, yours, right? <clears throat> okay, so I wanted to show you guys here quick. So along here, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've made um, little, little knots inside these different flowers, right? And the, these little flowers here, and along the whole roll, I went around and put little knots in the flowers, like you can see here. In the center of the flowers, I just did a little, a little French knot in here in each one of these flowers. Right, if you can see. Right, it gives it a lot of dimension. Right, these are lots of fun to do, and I'll show you in a second here. Did I add any more here? Oh, here, you could tell better. So in this little part with the, the French flowers, I just went through each flower and in the center of each one, I just put a little knot, give it a little dimension here, right? Um, you can see them, let's see. I did them again over here. Okay. So <clears throat> I have been busy. So I wanted to show you how to make some of these little French knots. They're more prominent when you add, when you have uh, more strands in your, um, when you use more strands. But let's see here. Let me put some knots here. <clears throat> oh my God, excuse me guys. I hate having the heat on in the winter time because it really, um, it's irritating. All right, so 
here there aren't any flowers in here that I may do them all here let's see here okay there's a couple little flowers on the end here more flowers so we're going to come through here we're going to come through the center right we've already knotted our floss right and now we're going to take our needle and we're going with our left hand or right hand whichever one and um, you're going to wrap with your left hand here your opposite hand one two three four five i'm just going to use five the thick the more uh strands you use in your floss the thicker the flower is going to be right so i'm going to hold on to this piece here right so this is what we're doing we're going to hold on to it right here and then we're going to stick the needle through and we're still holding on to this little piece here and we're going to pull it Pull it through. Can you see what we did? We made a little, a little raised knot. <clears throat> right? So we're going to do this again here. We'll do it right over here. So we put our needle through here. Right? With one hand, the hand you have the needle in hold it like this and then you're going to take your floss on this side take your needle and wrap it the floss around as many times as you'd like it there's no rule I like to usually do about five and then I'm going to holding on to this piece here pull the needle through you want to give a nice little tug too See? And that gives you your, your little knots. You can see them better. Right? So that is pretty much that. And that is fun. So now, like, if you have this here, you can, you know, go through with your needle. And if you have your other threads in here, you can go. Um, so now... Since I'm right here, I did the running stitches along here with the pink. So now while I'm right here, I can go ahead with my green and just stitch down the other row of the green right here. And then just go down and follow the green line here so this is whatever you want this is however you want to make these it's whatever colors whatever theme whatever you want to put on it um, it's this is just relaxing and creating you're just going to go through your role, you know, get yourself organized and, you know, just go and do your, your role. So whatever you want to do, you can, you can make your own flowers. You could design your own, um, theme. You can make, you can add birds. So see right here how I skipped from here to here instead of going from here to here it has this long line of thread here but you know what that's okay because i'm going to be putting lace on the bottom but so if you want to have less of you know the cross stitching in the back then you can you would just go from here to here right And that doesn't even matter anyway so 
<clears throat> I'm just going to go through this one to show you quick. And then we will tie this one off. In the back here, see, this went from here to here. But again, we are going to cover them. And if you are making these for yourself, like I said, then you, you know, you're really not worrying about it too much. And if you're making them to sell, then you could just cover them. So either way, it's not because you know you don't want to stress about about the little things because you're just creating so right we've added some cute little knots here into these flowers and we did another row of stitching alongside of the pink right that looks so much nicer and i don't i don't um cut these threads out i just leave them if they fall off then they fall off right <clears throat> okay so i did have um something else i would love for you guys to comment if you know you find this relaxing if you are having some fun watching and making these you know please let me know because i would love to see you know hear oh i had this cute little tiny red heart bead and i don't know where it came from but it wasn't in, in my um jewelry my vintage jewelry box and I wanted to add it somewhere. So it has the hook already from the bead here. See, and I thought it would be kind of fun to add it somewhere on either one of these because I love the red, I love the pink, um, but I need it to be added somewhere. I need it to be added somewhere there Let's see if that, how that would look. Very cute, see? Now we have a little dangling heart. Pretty. So th these cute little accents are just wonderful. Um, love these little these little tiny things that you find at estate sales. If you get you know find any jewelry or anything, um, they're so super fun to add to your um, snippet rolls. It's, anytime I see them, I instantly think of my snippet roll. Um, so we can add something like that there. Right, um, let's see, I had this cute little bead that actually has holes in it, this little red flower bead. Again, it was on the bottom of one of my things here. And you can add it to, if there's a little um, spot here, you can add it here, right? Um, let's see, we have some, I have this, um, these cute little rhinestones here. I didn't add any rhinestones yet but you can um, cut these up and use little individual rhinestones, right? So if you are adding these little rhinestones here, I would just, what I do is I take, I have this E6000, it's actually a um, fabric glue, it has extreme stretch, and I use them when, I use, when I'm adding rhinestones, I use this or any type of E6000 I use them to add to my embellishments here. So let's see here, right? I like a little rhinestone for the ladies here. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, so um, I do like to add those here. I think a little rhinestone strip, you know, kind of maybe jazz her up a little bit there, right? Um, I have this old little vintage earring here. It's a little filigree earring. Would be so much fun to add somewhere too, right? You can add these. And there's so many things you can add. So I have this little piece. I don't even know what this is, but it's a cute um, little flower type 
um, charm. So I thought how cute that would be if you wanted to add it to the end of this flower here. Right, this cute little flower, you can add that to it, right? So that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to go through some different ideas, some different um, add-ons to our snippet rolls. I wanted to share with you some techniques and some cool, fun stuff. So again, you can, there's so many different things. I have all these little, um, you know, baubles here. I have these little high heel um, charm here with the heart. You can add, you know, for the ladies, I have all kinds of different things. There's these little rhinestones here. Um, I had cut, they were on a, um, um, a vintage dress and I just cut off the rhinestones. It was on a long strip. You can add them, you know, you can add them to anything, any part of your, your um, roll. You can do whatever you want. I have this cute little, I don't know what this is, but I know I wanted to add it to, I have a little purple somewhere on my roll, right? So how cute a little flower. You can add, there's so much stuff that you guys can add here. Um, I just wanted to share with you a little organization, help you guys get started. Um, again, so like here for this, this roll that I had finished, I had put the rhinestones on here, right? And this is um, a vintage earring that I added here just, you know, for embellishment. What else did I add here? Yep, some more rhinestones over here. And for this one here, let's see. Um, yeah, I added some more rhinestones here, some over here. I put some little flowers here. Um, I did a, a little, um, fabric stamping here. So this is all up to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy and start working on your rolls. These guys will be ready within the next few days for sale. I, I'm going to do some more work on them, add some more, uh, goodies here. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the different, um, you know, ideas, um, having some fun looking at these. I hope you guys learned um, a little bit today. Um, so part one and part two gets you to the point where, you know, just the, um, it's just a plain snippet roll, right? And today this is, um, where we're starting to embellish, we're starting to add things. And I wanted you guys to see the, the different processes of each, you know, part. So this is the fun part, part three. It does seem like it's a long, you know, part one, part two, part three, but it's really not um, a lot. You know, once you are, you're at this point where you're just um, embellishing your snippet rolls, this is where you could just take off and go and create whatever you want, you know? Um, we've added so much stuff to this, right? Um, so after this, once I'm done embellishing, I'm gonna try and go around to the machine and do a zigzag stitch all the way around. And then what I'm gonna do is, while I'm zigzagging around, just to clean up the edges a little bit, I am going to add my lace, right? So you can still see some of the, um, you know, floss through the lace, but it's not nicer. So um, once I'm done embellishing, I will grab my lace, give a nice little stitch around the edges, and then these guys will be done, right? And any colors, whatever you want, this is all about you. So um, you guys take care. And, um, oh, sorry guys. <laughs>